Over the course of the past week, I've hosted top 10 videos for Heisman winners who I think are going to win, along with some sleeper quarterbacks who I think also have a chance to win. Today, I'm actually going to be going over my top 10 non-quarterbacks who I think have the best chance to win the Heisman Trophy this upcoming season. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you go check out my other Heisman videos. That way, if there's some names that are missing on here, you know why. Now, I'm not going to be including names that I had on my original top 10 who I think have the best chance to win, so you're not going to be seeing Jamar Chase, Travis Etienne, or Chuba Hubbard on this list because I have them in my current top 10 for players who I think have the best chance to win the Heisman. But before we get to this list, make sure you click that subscribe button if you're brand new to the channel and love college football content. Make sure to turn on those notifications also so you never miss an upload. All right, so as I mentioned, these are the 10 non-quarterbacks, aside from my three that I had in my top 10, who I feel have the best chance to win the Heisman Trophy in 2020. It's easy to forget, but Rondell Moore was the most exciting player in the country as a freshman back in 2018. He caught 114 passes for 1,300 yards and had 12 touchdowns. On the ground, he rushed for 200 yards and had two touchdowns. In addition, he also added nearly 800 yards in the return game. On one hand, it's been nearly 30 years since the last wide receiver won a Heisman Trophy, but then again, Moore is just the third true freshman to ever earn consensus All-American honors, along with former greats Herschel Walker and Adrian Peterson. Herschel Walker won the Heisman back in 80 and Adrian Peterson was on his way to winning in 2006 until an injury ended his year. If Moore can stay healthy and keep Purdue alive in the Big Ten title talks, it can be enough to break the 30-year drought. Last year as the number four option for Alabama, Jalen Waddell caught 33 passes for 560 yards with six touchdowns. He also had nearly 700 yards in the return game with two touchdowns. Now, as one of the top options for the Tide, Waddell can easily double what he did last season. With his speed, he's one of the most electrifying players in the country. With the ability to have a Heisman moment every time he touches the ball, Waddle can put together the best highlight tape in the country that will have voters falling in love with him. Staying on the topic of Alabama, Devontae Smith was the number three option last year for the Tide, but he was arguably the best wide receiver on the entire team. He caught 68 passes for 1,300 yards and 14 touchdowns. Now, he's going to receive even more volume in 2020. He'll be in the conversation for the Blitnikoff Award, so he very well could earn some Heisman buzz. Now, it'll be tough for Smith as he also has Jalen Waddle to compete with, but if he can put up maybe 1,500 yards with 20 touchdowns, it'll be really difficult to keep his name out of the conversation. Kenny Gainwell has some of the best odds to win among running backs, and for very good reason. As a redshirt freshman last year, he exploded for 1,500 rushing yards with 13 rushing touchdowns. He also killed it in the passing game, catching 51 passes for 600 yards and three touchdowns. With more experience and another season with his quarterback Brady White, Gainwell can improve on those numbers and potentially have the best season among all running backs in 2020. All right, it's time we get a little freaky. It's been almost 20 years since an offensive lineman finished in the top 10 of Heisman voting, and even longer since one has been in the top five. But Penny Sewell is definitely the player who can snap that streak. He received Heisman votes last year, so he'll definitely receive a higher number of votes this year. As a sophomore, he won the Outland Trophy, which is given to the top interior linemen in the country. He was also named to the All Pac-12 Conference First Team, the Walter Camp Foundation First Team, Sports Illustrated First Team, Pro Football Focus First Team, CBS Sports First Team, USA Today First Team. I think you guys get the picture. He's pretty good. And he was also named the AP Pac-12 Co-Offensive Player of the Year as a lineman. Sewell is a talent unlike we've seen in recent years, and though he may not win, he definitely can finish in the top five and make a strong case. The odds are against him, but Micah Parsons can be the first linebacker since Manti Teo in 2012 to finish in the top three of Heisman voting. When you compare Parsons' season in 2019 to Teo's in 2012, they're nearly identical aside from the interceptions. Parsons is widely regarded as the best linebacker in college football and has the chance to be a top 10 pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. If he's able to anchor that defense and take Penn State to the Big Ten title game, Parsons very well can find himself in the top three, potentially winning the award. Now, the last defensive player to win the Heisman was a cornerback, so who better than to break that streak than the best cornerback in college football? Derek Stingley was only a freshman last year, but he quickly established himself as a future NFL stud. He had six interceptions and 15 pass breakups, and quickly made quarterbacks regret throwing the ball in his direction. If he's going to want to win the award, he'll likely have to get more involved on offense, which LSU actually said they plan on doing. In Woodson's Heisman winning season, he returned 33 punts for 283 yards and a touchdown, while catching 
catching 11 passes for 230 yards and two touchdowns. He even had a rushing touchdown. Now, Stingley doesn't have to replicate those exact numbers, but at least it's a baseline of what we can try to expect from him should he make a push. CJ Verdell is coming off back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rushing seasons as he heads into 2020. Now, he's arguably Oregon's most explosive weapon returning to Eugene this year, so Verdell could catapult himself to the top of the running, especially if he's the one carrying a successful Oregon team to an undefeated or an even one-loss season. With 20 total touchdowns over the last two years, he'll find himself more involved in the offense than ever before. The Georgia Bulldogs had two 1,000-yard rushers in 2017 and 2018, and have had at least one 1,000-yard runner every season since 2014. It's almost inevitable that Georgia's lead back will have at least 1,000 yards this year, so with an offensive line reloading in terms of talent, I think it's safe to say we can expect Samir White to get there easily. In limited time, White posted 400 yards and three touchdowns on 78 carries in 2019. Now, with the full workload headed his way, he's primed for a breakout season. We end this list with yet another Alabama player, but for good reason. Najee Harris is coming off a season in which he had 1,500 total yards and 20 total touchdowns. With a new quarterback at the helm for a full year, he may be asked to do even more than what he did last year. Alabama has had some really good running backs over the last decade, but Najee Harris has the chance to cement himself as one of the best to ever do it for the Tide. He returned for his senior season, so expect big things out of Harris in 2020. Well, those are my 10 non-quarterbacks who I feel have the best chance to win the Heisman in 2020. Out of the 10 players I listed, which player do you think has the best odds to win? Drop a comment down there and let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see me drop another top 10 of non-quarterbacks that potentially can win the award, let me know as well and we can get that video out there in the coming week. As I mentioned, I've done a lot of Heisman videos already, so if you haven't already, make sure you go and check those out too. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because as I mentioned, this is the college football channel for college football fans, so if you love college football, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.